Hi guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I filmed this holiday inspired makeup look. This is super beat for me. I did like a full coverage foundation, everything. And this video is a voiceover tutorial. So I'm just gonna be like talking through what I'm doing. So a lot of you guys said that you liked this look. Um, I posted a picture of this look on my Instagram. I'll put the picture here. And I also had this look on in my last video, which is the Kylie Holiday unboxing video. If you guys haven't entered my giveaway, I'm doing a giveaway, so you guys should go watch that. Um, yeah, I just had a different lip color in the picture and in the video. So this is much more holiday, Christmas, winter inspired. So I will stop blabbering on and make this intro as short as possible. So if you guys like what you see, then just keep watching. Hi guys. Okay, so we're going to start with eyebrows. And I showed you the coconut oil because that's what I use in my dip brow pomades whenever it's dried up. And this is the ColourPop pomade um, in the shade black and brown. And then I'm going to conceal my eyebrows using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Warm Honey and just carve the bottom. And then I'm going to take the same LA Girl Pro Concealer, but this time in the shade Fawn and go over the top. And this is a shade that's basically my skin tone, so it matches well. And then Warm Honey is like a shade lighter. I'm just blending that out and then doing the exact same thing to the other eyebrow. To prime my eyelids, I'm going to go back in with the Girl, LA Girl, I cannot talk, the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Warm Honey, using that as a base, and I'm just blending that out with my Beauty Blender, and then setting that with some Laura Mercier. And today we're going to be using our good friend Scotch Tape, just to set the set what am I talking about just to make sure we don't go outside the lines and I'm also gonna be taking my bronze Kai shadow palette the first shade I'm using I'm gonna get this right this time you guys this is topaz I think it's topaz yep and then I'm gonna go in my crease using tiger eye if I'm wrong I'm gonna be really mad and then I'm also going to be taking the shade hemite hemonite I'm a tight whatever you guys already know and on my lid I'm gonna take my favorite Smashbox shadow which is in the shade ambient ambient however you want to say it and then I'm also going to be taking the birthday edition copper shadow which is a cream shadow from Kylie cosmetics and using that on my lid and it's kind of hard to like get on you can see I'm struggling a little bit but it is so pretty and I'm just going to remove that tape for that nice sharp line and I'm going to go in with my eyelashes and these are just the Ardell 206 Double Up. And I got these from Ulta. They are so bomb. For eyeliner, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. liquid liner and I'm praying here right now you guys because if you pray before you do your eyeliner, I promise you it turns out better. So it works every time, <laughs> but I'm just going to do a nice bold wing. Moving on to face, y'all already know about my Cetaphil Daily Facial Moisturizer. It is the go-to. And recently I've been trying the LA Girl Pro Primer and y'all, it is really good. I love it. Um, and now I'm going to be taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the orange corrector shade and concealing all these acne scars. So, yep, gotta do what I gotta do. Because this is a full coverage foundation routine, I'm going to be going in depth about my acne coverage and stuff like that and using a lot of products. So this is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Warm Honey. I'm just covering that up and then I'm going to go back in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn to cover it up again. And like I said earlier, that shade is true to my skin tone, so it works really well. And for foundation, I'm going to be taking my Holy Grail at the moment, which is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD, and it's the pump one, so not the stick. I like to apply it as dots on my face and then blend it all out with my Damp Beauty Blender.
And moving on to concealer, girl, you guessed it. This is the LA Girl Pro in Warm Honey. I use it all the time. And I'm highlighting underneath my eyes, my nose, my smile lines, chin, and forehead. And then blending it out with a beauty blender. And to set all of that, I'm going to be taking my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm only going to be baking underneath my eyes and beneath my contour. And to bronze my face, I do not like using cream bronzers, so this is a powder bronzer. It's from Makeup Forever, the Pro Bronze Fusion. I'm not sure of the shade, but I'm just taking a contour brush from Sephora and yeah. And to wipe away all the excess powder, I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade Toffee on a big fluffy brush. For blush, I'm using one of my favorites. This is from Wet n Wild and it's in the shade Mellow Wine. And for a little extra glow, I'm going to be taking my Becca Cosmetics slash Jaclyn Hill highlighter in the shade Champagne Pop and putting that on the highest points of my cheek, my nose, and my cupid's bow. And for lipstick, surprise, it's going to be a Kylie Cosmetic lip. I'm going to be taking my pencil in Leo from the Birthday Collection and topping that off with Mary from the Holiday Collection. And I'm going to go back in that bronze palette and take the shade Hematite in my lower lash line. I'm also going to go back in Champagne Pop and place that in my brow bone and inner tear duct. I'm also taking this Colossal Mascara from Maybelline and placing that on my bottom lashes. And I know my door opens in the back. My dog definitely tried to break in while I was filming. How rude. <laughs> but now I'm setting everything with the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray and that is it for my look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to comment, subscribe if you're not already, give it a thumbs up, let me know what you think. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you in my next video.